Hey there, my name is Kara and I help other mamas find and achieve natural wellness. Today I'm going to talk about something that maybe many of you have dealt with before with your children or infants. It's called um, ear infections. So we have dealt with this with my two sons um, over the last couple years. And I have a couple of things that I have done that have worked wonders um, for clearing out the ears. So a little backstory, Ted, he had... Um, probably 10 or so ear infections, one right after the other. We were using so many antibiotics that I was finally like, this is enough. Like the, the antibiotic is only working enough to clear up the infection. And then it just comes back in like less than a month. And I was just getting really frustrated with like how this was going. And it just was like antibiotic after antibiotic and nothing was really working. And so I finally decided that I'm just gonna bring him to the chiropractor and and that's gonna be it. And so what I started doing was bringing him to a chiropractor that did cranial sacral work, and they also did palate adjusting inside the mouth. And what I found was that this actually worked to open up the ear eustachian tubes, and then it would drain, because what, what happens is the infants or, or children is their eustachian tubes are like this, so they're flat. And ours point down as we get older, so these, these kids, what happens is the fluid gets into those ear canals and then they either collapse or, or they just get so full of fluid that they can't drain properly. So what I found was once they did that within the next day or so that all of this phlegm and junk started draining out and they would just start clearing that infection right out. And then we also used quite a few natural home remedies to help facilitate the draining. We eliminated dairy as well and if you're nursing with baby then I, I would eliminate dairy for a couple weeks um, after that chiropractic appointment just to kind of you know make sure that they're not creating more mucus and and every time he'd get another ear infection it went hand in hand with with teething and so every time he was popping new teeth you know they're creating more saliva and then it then goes into the back and creates more problems in the ears so I was finding that it was just going hand in hand with teething and it was constant every time he was popping new teeth he was getting another ear infection and so then I just kept bringing him to the chiropractor instead and that was what was the ticket for us with Ted now with Zane he hasn't had as many ear infections but he's had a few one with a really high fever um, typically they might not even show these signs but a lot of the, the signs are you know they're tugging at their ears irritable crabby and I also have an otoscope that I can look in their ear with um, the light on it and I can look at the eardrum as this is something that as, as a registered nurse I, I was trained in but you can also do it you can get one off Amazon and you can do it um, and they'll show you pictures of what to look for on the eardrum and so I was just finding that his ears were always just irritable and red and so I would I found a chiropractor up here in Alaska and we've been using that um, craniosacral work and it's helping some, but his is a little different in that um, his ears are still irritable. And so we've had to add in a few extra um, home remedies such as Arnica or chamomilla, garlic drops in the ears, amber teething necklaces, and, and lots of other things too. And that's kind of been the helping factor. But really until those teeth all come through is when the ear infections will start to taper off and, and then they'll be on their merry way. If you... Um, liked what you have heard today, please don't um, hesitate to hit subscribe and the bell so you can get notifications because I will be doing weekly videos and or or more, but right now starting out with once a week. And I would like to hear from you as well. So drop a comment below or check out my website and comment there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.